We are almost to our module where we begin shooting a short film together. So in this module, I wanted to go over a list of items that you're going to want to think about before we actually get to the module where we start shooting that film. So some of these things are going to be required and some of them will just be optional. But I want to make sure that you have enough time to uh, preview this list and come up with a plan so that when we get to the module where we shoot the short film together, you're ready to go. Welcome to the Indie Lot. You're at the Filmmaker's Boot Camp. I have a list of required and optional items and the only item right now that I can think of on the required list if you're gonna shoot a film you gotta have some kind of camera so whether that be a DSLR a webcam I suppose could work off of your laptop computer as well if that's the only camera you have camcorders iPhones Android devices any device that supports shooting video you're going to want to get it ready because that's what you're going to use to capture your film. Now for those of you who don't have a DSLR but you've got a smartphone, what I want to suggest to you for the smartphone is that you try to find a program, an application to download onto your phone such as Filmic. We just talked about Filmic when we talked about lenses and Filmic is the only program that I'm aware of for the iPhone that uh, gives you full control of your video features so you really you want to get away from automatic settings in your camera when you're shooting film and you want to begin to learn how to manually control those settings everything from like I said the exposure triangle that's your ISO aperture shutter speed as well as your focus one of the things you want to consider having first off and this again this is now I'm moving to the list of optional items the first optional item on the list is going to be a tripod. If you have talent that comes in, an, an external actor that's not you, then you don't probably really need a, a tripod because you can just grab your iPhone and just manually hold it and just do everything handheld. No, no problem there. But if you're going to be the only one, you're the cameraman and the actor, then you're going to need some kind of a tripod system. Now, have a look here. This was a short film called The Godfather Poppy that I did for a contest uh, a couple years ago. And I don't even know why we did this, because I, I have several tripods. Um, but for some reason, we set up books on this half wall. You can see here, and you can see the camera just sitting on the stack of books. So you may need to consider that if you don't have a tripod or can't get one before we do the shoot. You'll need to evaluate your environment and your setting, your, your set, and perhaps you can use a stack of books or other objects, tables, whatever, where you're going to be able to set up your iPhone, lean your phone against a book, prop it up somehow, but you're going to have to figure that out. So if you do go the tripod route, the next thing you're going to need is going to be one of these, okay, uh, or something similar to it. This is a device used to, you can see the screw here, this is just a, or a screw hole, I should say. This is just a device that you're going to screw into your quick release plate of your tripod. And then what you'll be able to do is adjusting these settings here. All right. You can see how this is widening, right? And basically what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to find the size that you need to use to be able to then attach your, your iPod. With this device, you'll then set it up on the tripod once you you've got this set up like this right then you'll be able to turn your camera on it'll be mounted into the quick release plate on your tripod and you'll be able to then uh, aim and, and get your shots set up right and then you just operate your camera how you would normally operate your camera so if you're gonna use the iPhone and a tripod system you're gonna need something like this another potential tripod you could use for your your iPhone or Android device is this unit right here I showed this to you in an earlier episode and these legs here just expand out you can reshape and reform them and then set it up on a table right here is where you stick your phone okay or mobile device maybe you've got an iPod or iPod touch here's another great system you could just mount it just set it on a table like this and aim the camera at you 
uh, it works great. Now, the thing you want to be careful with these guys right here is these little um, units here, they can easily come apart. So you just want to be careful when you're maneuvering around and reshaping this that you don't act accidentally pull it apart. Uh, it just snaps back together. It's no big deal, but I just want to make you aware of that. One thing I've done before is I've taken these legs and I've wrapped them around a, a boom pole or uh, a mic stand, as you can see here. Going the, the route of books will work too. You just got to figure out a way to prop up your phone and make sure you're getting the shot that you're intending to get. If you're going to be shooting on your DSLR, attach your DSLR to the tripod, lock it off. If not, again, books are your option. Again, just with all this stuff, they'll be very careful with how you place stuff so that you don't accidentally knock it over, it falls over and breaks. So again, I leave that up to you, of course. But I'm just trying to give you some ideas of what you can do in preparation for when we shoot our short film together. Let's talk about some other optional items, and that's lighting. Okay, In one of our past episodes, we talked about clamp lamps, and there's all kinds of stuff you need for those. But if that's the route you want to go, it's a very inexpensive route to go, especially as a new filmmaker. But here's the things you want to consider. You want the clamp lamp, you, you need the light bulbs, of course, and you're going to want to have spares extension cords, power strips, you're going to need some other stronger clamps to secure those to your light stand. And then of course you need the light stands if I haven't said that already. So lighting is optional. If you don't have that equipment and you can't get it or don't want to get it, which is fine, then just think about where you place your set. So maybe you can do your shot outside, do your little film outside. Or maybe you can shoot by a window. We've talked about these ideas already multiple times. You'll, you'll figure it out. Uh, but again, lighting will be optional. And then the last thing is microphones. Do you have mics? Learn how to, learn how to use them if you haven't yet. Set them up. Practice. Practice getting them out of the camera. Sometimes you can just get the edge of the mic, just the tip of it in the camera. And then in post, you can just zoom your image just a little bit to get rid of the mic. Remember, you can use your iPod also as a microphone. Now, in the situation where your 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 iPod or your, I, your iPhone is your camera and your microphone, it's going to be a little bit trickier for you. One thing you could do, just shoot, do all your dialogue, and don't worry about the microphone. Because really, the exercise is... Is it's for all those things, but it's even more important in, at this time that you're learning how to set up your camera and get the angles and the coverage and the things like that. Then you could also go back later after you've shot your scene and you've picked out your, your takes, and then you could just uh, record the audio separately into your phone and then bring that audio into post and merge it together, sync it up with your lips in post. So as you think about this list, if there's any items that you don't possess but you would like to, I have a, a list of links in the description of this video that will link to some of this gear uh, that I use that I've just showed you. And you could feel free to go purchase it as well. Click on a link, go buy it. You help me out a little bit as I get a small commission. And that would be great. But if you don't need it, then you don't need it. But it's there for you to use. And I've tried to pick out this exact same stuff that I use. But if in the case where uh, there is that item is no longer there, I've tried to come up with something very cost effective that is equal to what I'm using. So please check it out in the links if, if that interests you. Thank you for being here. Please like and subscribe. And I will talk to you real soon.